Wemberly Worried by Kevin Hankis. Wemberly worried about everything. Big things? I wanted to make sure you're still here. Little things? And things in between. Mama, what if I shrink? Wemberly worried in the morning. She worried at night. And she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. And what does the shirt say? Go with the flow. At home, Wimberly worried about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on our house? And the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? And the noise the radiators made. What if there's a snake inside? At the playground, Wemberly worried about the chains on the swings, and the bolts on the slide, and the bars on the jungle gym. Too rusty, too loose, too high. And always, she worried about her doll, Petal. Shouldn't Petal have a car seat too? I'll wait for you, Petal. Petal's lost forever. I found her, sweetie. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wemberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wemberly was especially worried, she rubbed Paddle's ears. Wemberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Paddle would have no ears left at all. On her birthday, Wembley worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. This is the best present ever. I wish I had my birthday today. But then, Wembley worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. On Halloween, Wemberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then, Wemberly worried because she was the only one. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. And what does the board say? Take it as it comes. Soon, Wemberly had a new worry. School! Wemberly worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. I loved school. By the time the first day arrived, Wemberly had a long list of worries. 
What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate this neck? What if I have to cry? Don't worry," said her mother. "Don't worry," said her father. But Wembley worried. She worried, and worried, and worried. She worried all the way there. Have fun. While Wembley's parents talked to the teacher, Mrs. Peachum, Wembley looked around the room. Then Mrs. Peachum said, "Wembley, there is someone I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes." She was holding a doll. At first, Wembley and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal," said Wembley. "This is Niblet," said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. "Hi." Said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wembley. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wembley and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Paddle and Niblet sat side by side too. Wembley worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even less. Before Wembley knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow," called Mrs. Pitchum. As the students walked out the door, Wembley turned, and smiled, and waved. "I will," she said. "Don't worry." Cooking in young Wembley, Kill Cream Cabin Handcuffs. 웸블리는 모든 것을 걱정했어. 큰일, 여기 있는지 확인하고 싶었어요. 작은 일, 그리고 중간 일. 엄마, 나 줄어들면 어쩌지? 웸블리는 아침에 일어나면 걱정했어. 저녁에도 걱정했고, 낮 동안에도 계속 말이야. 딸, 걱정이 너무 많구나. 엄마가 말씀하셨어. 너가 걱정하면 아빠도 걱정돼. 아빠가 말씀하셨어. 걱정, 걱정, 걱정. 할머니도 말씀하셨어. 걱정이 너무 많아. 집에 있을 때 웬벌리는 앞마당에 나무가 걱정스러웠어. 우리 집 위로 나무가 쓰러지면 어쩌지? 거실 벽에 금을 보고는 금이 더 커져서 벽 안에서 뭔가가 나오면 어쩌지? 라디에이터가 소리를 낼 때는 안에 뱀이 있는 거 아니야? 놀이터에서는 그네줄, 미끄럼틀 나사, 정글질 막대를 걱정했어. 너무 녹슬었어. 너무 헐거워. 너무 높아. 그리고 항상 자신의 인형 페탈도 걱정했지. 
페탈도 카시트에 앉혀야 하지 않아요? 내가 기다려줄게. 페탈을 영원히 못볼 거야. 얘야, 엄마가 인형 찾았어. 걱정 마. 엄마가 말씀하셨어. 걱정 마. 아빠가 말씀하셨지. 하지만 웬벌리는 걱정하고 또 하고 또 걱정했어. 걱정이 많이 될 때는 페탈을 귀를 만졌어. 걱정을 멈추지 못하면 페탈 귀가 하나도 남지 않을 텐데 어떡하지? 하고 또 걱정했지. 생일날엔 생일 파티에 친구가 안 오면 어쩌나 걱정했어. 봤지? 걱정할 일이 아니었어. 엄마가 말했어. 최고의 선물이 될 거야. 오늘이 내 생일이면 좋겠다. 그러자 이제는 또 케이크 모자르면 어쩌나 걱정했어. 할로윈 날에는 똑같은 나비 옷이 너무 많으면 어쩌나 걱정했어. 봐, 걱정할 일이 아니었단다. 아빠가 말씀하셨어. 그러자 웬벌리는 나비 옷 입은 사람이 나 하나뿐이라며 걱정했어. 걱정이 너무 많구나. 엄마가 말씀하셨어. 너가 걱정하면 아빠도 걱정돼. 아빠가 말씀하셨어. 걱정, 걱정, 또 걱정. 할머니도 말씀하셨어. 걱정이 너무 많아. 웬벌리에게 새로운 걱정이 생겼어. 바로 유치원! 여태껏 걱정했던 그 어떤 것보다 더 많이 유치원 가는 것을 걱정했지. 유치원 좋아했었는데 유치원 가는 첫날이 다가오자 웬벌리는 걱정이 한가득이었어. 아무도 점이 없으면 어쩌지? 줄무늬 옷을 입은 사람이 나밖에 없으면? 아무도 인형을 안 가져오면? 선생님이 심술쟁이면? 내 이름을 놀리면 어쩌지? 화장실을 못 찾으면 어떡해? 감식이 맛없으면? 울고 싶으면? 어떡하지? 걱정 마. 엄마가 말씀하셨어. 딸, 걱정하지 마. 아빠가 말씀하셨어. 하지만 웬벌리는 걱정했어. 걱정하고 또 했지. 유치원에 가면서 계속 걱정했어. 재밌게 놀다 오너라. 부모님이 피참 선생님과 이야기하시는 동안 웬블리는 교실을 둘러보았어. 그리고 나서 선생님께서 말씀하셨지. 웬블리 너에게 소개해주고 싶은 친구가 있단다. 친구 이름은 주얼. 그 아이는 혼자 서 있었지. 줄무늬 옷을 입고 있었고 인형을 꼭 안고서 말이야. 처음에는 웬벌리와 주얼 둘다 서로 바라보기만 했어. 얘는 페탈이야. 웬벌리가 말했어. 얘는 니블릿. 주얼이 말했어. 페탈이 손을 흔들었고 니블릿도 손을 흔들며 인사했어. 안녕. 안녕. 난 귀를 만져. 웬벌리가 말했어. 난 코를 만져. 주얼이 말했어. 오전 놀이 시간에 둘은 옆에 앉아서 함께 놀았고 페탈과 리블리도 물론 옆에 앉아서 놀았어. 웬벌리는 걱정을 했어. 하지만 보통 때보다 더 많이 하지는 않았어. 어쩌면 조금 덜 했는지도 몰라. 어머! 벌써 집에 갈 시간이야. 내일 또 놀려오렴. 아이들이 문 밖으로 걸어갈 때 선생님이 말씀하셨어. 웬블리가 돌아보더니 입가에 미소를 띄고는 선생님께 이렇게 인사했어. 네, 그럴게요. 걱정 마세요. 